know I think they like me. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, we're going to look at a lead code problem, and the problem's name is ransom note. In this question, we're given two strings, ransom note and magazine. We have to return true if ransom note can be constructed using the letters from magazine, else we have to return false. Each letter in the magazine string can be used only once in the ransom note. So let's take a few examples. We need to build A from the magazine, but A is not present inside the magazine, so we return false. We need to build AA from this string AB. So there is only one A available to build the ransom node, but we need two A's, so we return false. In this case, there are two A's present inside the magazine, so we can build the ransom node and we'll return true. Now let's take a look at the example and see how the logic can be found. So let's take the same example given to us in the question. So we are having a ransom note consisting of two letters AA and the magazine is AAB. So the first step is to create a hash map for the magazine string. So this hash map will contain key as the character and the value will be an integer. So the keys will represent the characters present in the magazine string and the value in each row will be representing the frequency of that character. Now that we have the hash map ready, let us iterate through the ransom node string from left to right and in one iteration we are going to access one character at a time. So let's start with the first character A. We are going to check if A is present inside the map. Yes, A is present. And in the same if check, we also have to check if the value of that A is greater than 0. Yes, the value is greater than 0. So you can enter the if loop. Inside the if loop, we have to increment a variable count which will be as a tracker. So this count is now initially 0 and we have to increment it to 1. And also we have to decrement this value present inside the map by 1. So the frequency of 2 will now become 1. In the next iteration, let's move on to the next element, this A here. We again have to repeat the same steps. We are going to check if A is present inside the map. Yes, it is present. We also have to check if the frequency of A is greater than 0. Is yes, the frequency of A is greater than 0? It is 1. So you enter the inside the if statement and you increment the count variable. Count variable is now equal to 2. And you decrement the character's frequency by 1. So now the frequency of A will become 0. And now we have reached the end of the node. So this iteration will stop. And now outside the for loop, we have to check if the variable count is equal to length of the ransom node string. So the count variable which is initially 0 has now become 2. And now we have to check if these two variables have the same value. Yes, the length of the ransom node is 2 and the count is also 2. So therefore you return true as the output. Now that we have seen how the logic is formed, let us implement the same steps that I have shown. Let us start off by creating a hash map. Hash map will contain character as the key and integer as the value. Now we need to build the string magazine inside the map. So let us iterate through it. Now we have to check if the map contains the character in this iteration. So if map dot contains key of character magazine dot char hat of i. If it is present inside the map, we have to increment its frequency. So map dot put so the character is going to be the magazine's character of i. The value I'm going to get the current value. So I'm getting the current frequency of that character and incrementing it by one in the else block. So if that character is not present inside the map, we have to insert that character inside the map and set its frequency as one. So this statement inside the else block will be executed for every unique element and from the next time whenever that character is present inside the map, we have to increment its frequency by 1. Now we have built the hash map. Now let's proceed to the next step of iterating through the ransom node. We'll start from 0 and go till the end of the ransom node string. Now let's extract the character. 
now we are extracting the current character for this iteration as i've already mentioned we have to make two checks inside the if condition so if the first check is that we have to check if this character is present inside the map so since characters are keys inside the map let us use the contains key method so if map dot contains key of ch we are checking if the character inside the ransom node for this iteration is present inside the map as key and now coming to the second check inside the if condition we have to check if this character's frequency inside the map is greater than zero which means that it is available to use so that we can build the ransom node so map dot get of ch i'm getting the frequency of that character and i'm checking if it is greater than zero only if these two conditions pass it will enter inside the if statement inside the if statement we have to increment the counter which is the tracker so let us create a variable called count which is initially zero so inside the if statement if those two conditions pass we have to increment count and also we have to decrement the frequency of that character by one so let us insert that character inside the map ch and get the current frequency map dot get of ch i'm getting the current frequency and decrementing it by one and in the else part these two conditions are failing so if that character is not present inside the map or if that character's frequency is uh, zero or less than zero we can break the loop which means that we cannot build the ransom node from the characters present inside magazine now this for loop will check and will build the count variable as i've mentioned we have to check if the value inside count and the length of the ransom node is same only then we have to return true if count is equal to ransom node dot length only then we have to return true which means that we have reached the end of the ransom node string and we are able to build it from the magazine string so we'll return true else we have to return false now let's run the code by getting the expected output let's submit the code there you have it our solution has been accepted so the time complexity of this approach is o of n and the space complexity is also o of n because we are using a hash map to store the frequency of characters present inside the magazine string that's it guys that's the end of the video thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one